Hey, welcome back to the another video. Saffron is back in today's video. Now let's look at the new Ather X2 version 1.5.4248, which is the newest APK of Ather's X. Those who don't know about this APK, basically it's a PS2 emulator for all of your mobile devices and it allows you to play your favorite ps2 games in your mobile games gives you amazing customizability of all the like controls gives you additional features like uh, control customizations uh, your fps increasing settings now in this particular video what we will going to do is we will going to take a look out the best settings of the ether x for the latest version in your mobile and we will also going to test God of War 2 has a testing purpose and we will see how much FPS we will going to get after these settings. And also one more thing, since it's a new version of uh, Ather X, so you have to watch this video carefully. You have to set your settings carefully. Since I am running this uh, emulator on my Poco F64, which has Snapdragon 8 is Gen 3, I ran this game at constant 60 FPS and how you can do for that you have to watch this video now before we start let me tell you about our telegram channel if you if you don't know about telegram channel make sure to join this telegram channel because you will get so many resources so many videos notifications and it will going to help you a lot guys and if you are interested to watch emulation related videos make sure to subscribe this channel you can subscribe the channel and also turn all the bell notification icon to support me because of course these kind of videos take too much time to you know researching create Creating, editing and uploading so hope uh, that you understand all these efforts and you will going to support me so now let for the delay and let's start and now you can see that uh, it's showing welcome to ethex s2x uh, just next click on the next click on the okay let's wait for it uh, here we can see all the settings right now so uh, it's, it's showing optimal safe default so basically if you uh, mid to high end devices use this now uh, what we will going to do is to click on the optimal safe setting which is the safest setting for you to get the maximum compatibility for your game now click on the expand to cut area to cut all the areas that looks like black areas you have to select those so and now click on the emulation screen orientation it should be landscape because we have to play at the landscape mode so we have to set to its the landscape now for the aspect ratio i would go with the wide screen 6 ratio into 9 because it will going to uh, make you a full screen look that will going to help you to play at full screen now for the theme option I would go with the dark theme because you know I like the dark theme and it's actually optional for some of the people because you know uh, optional choice for most of the people. Now for the GPU renderer I would go with the OpenGL later we can customize according to ourselves and the upscale multiplier it's a 1x for now and let's click on the next button. Now here we have to choose the BIOS. So for the BIOS option, what you have to do is to click on the plus option. When you click on the plus option, it will redirect to your files. Now here, what we have to do is to go to your location where you have installed the BIOS file. Now I have installed the BIOS file in my PS2 folder, which is the BIOS main. Now click on the folder and here you will see I am getting this folder which I have installed now here you, you can see that we are getting so many BIOS files now here's the trick what file you have to choose which would be compatible with your phone now here you have to see this video very carefully and now has, here you can see in ZArchiver so uh, this BIOS which is the version 2.20 2006 it's the latest version of BIOS. So what I'm going to do is to delete these files. So uh, we can install this latest BIOS file. Now go to your ethics again. And here you can see this file over here. Now we have to go with this file. Click on the uh, uh, click here. Now you can see the we are getting Europe uh, version 0.2.20. Now click on this and click on the next. 
now here it's showing us to uh, game directory so ethics will automatically detect your game location you specify here you should add at least one directory to scan please do not add the top of your st storage volume otherwise scanning will uh, take very long time so uh, click on the uh, next button but before we have to add the directory so i have made a folder which is the ps2 games here i stored most of my ps2 games so i would go with this directory use this folder allow and now you can see i am having full access of my ps2 games directory now click on the next button right now uh, when you click on the next button you will see setup is completed now click on the finish button to get it done whatever games you store in your folder you will see your games right here now i can also click on this button to uh, see the icons of the game uh, not actual icons but it will show you the uh, text in the text form so i'm having dragon ball z infinite world and god of war 2 and the gta san andreas ps2 right so okay uh, let's go to the setting again now click on the app settings here you will see all the app settings here you can see that we have opened our settings now click on the general uh, go to the general and basically you have to select some of the settings right here show fps uh, of course we wanted to uh, we want to see fps in our game so we have to click on this and so uh, show resolution you can also click on this but i don't want to see resolution for now so yeah let's keep it simple and click on the uh, system go to the system here you can see the other settings right here um so uh, enable frame limit disable this because it will limit your frames which uh, we don't want right so basically uh, if it disabled the system will run as fast as possible so that's what we want right and now go to the graphics here you can see the gpu renderer and now let's keep it simple uh, so we just uh, make it uh, so we will just going to set it at the default uh, most of the setting would be at the default now click on the white screen aspect ratio, aspect ratio should be at wide screen now let's what we will going to do is the builder uh upscaling let's keep it at the default setting now let me see other settings also now uh, fx double s shader it should be enabled right because it will going to make your uh games uh is it will going to uh, make your game look so smooth right by just uh smoothies out the image by applying fast approximate anti-aliasing uh, okay, it's it's kind of a technical word, but yeah, as you understand that uh, we have to enable this right now uh, Go here and you can see the shade boost click on this option When you click on this option now you will get the control of brightness contrast and saturation so uh, It's actually optional to you. You can actually adjust according to yourself to get the best colors in your game now I would go with the high brightness because I like to have high brightness and also a little bit of contrast and little, little bit of saturation like it would be at 60. Now we have set it the graphic setting which is the most important setting and the audio setting it's uh, you know not that much important. So yeah let's keep it uh, the simple for now let's keep it like default and here the memory card you can also create memory card import memory card so yeah basically it's uh, used for the save games right so yeah let's keep it simple and uh, let me see the advanced settings here uh, the graphics drivex information okay and graphics driver isn't okay let me see other settings also so yeah we have done all the settings basically which were very important now click on the god of war let's play the god of war 2 on the p on the latest emulator so excited to play though um, yeah so now we you can see that the game is open finally now the game is running as you can see uh, let me change uh, can we change the in-game settings no okay no 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 uh, let's open the god over 2 in-game now you can see that the game is running at the 60 fps Oh my god the game is running at the 60 fps purely bro and believe on this uh, let's can we skip this uh, story no we cannot skip 
let me go here uh, we can change the settings from here too so i think the resolution uh let me set uh, let me uh, where the black screens right so we have to remove this black screen uh, now i would go with the stretch full uh, fill screen so it will going to uh, make your game little bit stretch but it will going uh, to give you full screen experience now you can see that i'm getting full screen experience here uh so and for the fps we are getting 60 fps constant now uh, we can't since we can't skip this story we have to see the story now you can see the game is finally running and we are getting constant 60 fps bro i can't believe on my eyes i'm playing on the poco f6 and uh, uh, it's giving me constant fps the game is not lagging at all the game is running so smoothly and i'm getting so much good experience bro Oh, oh yo what the hell is this bro yo 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 Let me uh, increase the resolution of it so that we get maximum quality. Uh, let me go to the graphics settings and here you will see the upscale multiplier. Let's set it to the uh, 2x native and let's see the graphic changes here. Now the game is running a uh, little bit good. Uh, let me set the, uh, let me increase further. Click on the uh, settings button, go to the graphics and here let's set up skill native to the 5x oh my god ah, so, so excited to play at this setting and now we are getting so much good quality but at the same time the fps is also dropping the game is running so slow though uh, so we have to uh, you know minimize the settings so let's go with the click on the settings let's go with the uh, 3x i think it should be decent now we have set it to the 3x and now we are getting decent performance here you can see right here whoa okay let's go bro click on the rn button r1 button okay so we have to press this button okay now okay we have to press this button again and again now we are good to go now you can see guys right here that we are playing god over 2 at the 50 to 60 fps very smoothly on snapdragon edge gen 3 no way